I'm uh, Le Lehtinen. Uh, I'm a regional artist of Light Arts, working for Art Promotion Center Finland. An Art Promotion Center is an uh, organization under Ministry of Culture that supports arts and, tech, uh, arts and culture. And but I'm here talking about uh, my work as a media artist. And uh, I have background in uh, photography, but I studied animation in Slovakia and in uh, Netherlands. And the last years I've been working uh, with. Uh, media art installations mostly. Uh, I'll start with, I will sh uh, shortly describe my workflow, usual workflow, and tell us more or less like how I work. So there's three parts, concept, form, and content. I, and what is uh, significant here is that uh, when I work with concept and form, I may not know what the content is. So I work in the media arts more or less as a painter would paint painting like when the process of uh, painting is uh, already like uh, maybe he knows what he's doing and how like the canvas is there but uh, the artist artistic, artistic process of the content is not known exactly before it happens and the art is between concept and content and the form in, uh, looking at at the uh, point of view of art, uh, form is uh, irrelevant. But for me, as an artist, uh, I have most fun <coughs> working with the form because uh, concepts and con uh, concepts is there is hard work, but uh, uh, we're doing the technical uh, experimentation is the playground. That's where the fun is with working. And I will uh, show you three examples of my work. <coughs> Mortal sin. Oh. Uh, Mortal Sin is the most specific video here, which doesn't work. Well, it's a um, video uh, mapping installation. Okay, and uh, it was about uh, kills and shame. And because uh, kills and shame is something we carry from the history, I wanted the technique as well be about uh, combination of history and present. And uh, the video here shows, uh, should be here, it's uh, video mapping on the books. There's 50 books hanging in the gallery space, and there's videos mapped on them. And the books uh, books are about uh, like moral norms and, uh, and um, religion. Yeah, yeah. And also I used uh, soy probe, which is a technique from uh, 1830s, which first moving image. And, uh, so it's a combination of past and present. Yes. And this piece, uh, I have, it's been uh, presented in a few countries in uh, Finland, uh, Poland, uh, Germany, and it was uh, purchased by the Finnish government. Technically, it's quite simple. It was two video projectors for 50 books, and um, they were like 50 video loops, each mapped on book. And I had uh, five or six of these soy probes. They all had a uh, few seconds loops. And second example is more like applied arts work. It's an uh, example of how to do <coughs> Uh, immersive uh, reality with really minimal uh, resources. I had uh, one uh, loop of like 20 second loop of uh, waves and uh, two Raspberry Pi computers and three office uh, video projectors and then a few LED lights. And I, maybe many of you recognize it's the old city hall which is really beautiful, uh, beautiful place. And, uh, I make this underwater experience. There's an example that you don't always need uh, 500 computers to make uh, immersive, uh, immersive uh, like art. I have two uh, video projectors on the ceiling and one on the floor. And the budget 
budget, I think, was like 500 euros or something. So it's <coughs> and usually I work with like quite small resources, and that's, then I have to kind of create it, be creative on how to use them properly and how to make best out of the, of the little, uh, little that I have. And the last example is uh, installation 1986. Uh, I made it for Manta Art Festival uh, for 2017. And the concept was it's about year 1986. It's the first year I realized uh, work outside my family. I was seven or eight at the time. My first memories are like from, from the news and from the work on that year. So it's a random year, but for me it was significant because um, it's the year the world opened up for me. So there's a Chernobyl and uh, there's uh, Kek Konen, he died. Uh, and technically, it's again pretty simple. It's uh, using uh, three video projectors and three raspberry Pi computers. And there's uh, balloons that I've made uh, plastered so they are like hard. And they are hanging upside down because I wanted to make it look like a uh, like, uh, Uh, what, what's this uh, when you have a uh, small hole in a uh, dark room and it creates this uh, upside down image? Camera hmm? obscura. And uh, there's uh, like three balloons uh, are projected all, all around and uh, the audience can walk around them. And for me, like, I like to use this kind of like, uh, like magic tricks. Even like now it's a simple technique, but uh, when you see like the objects that are like projected all around, it, like for most of the audience, it's, uh, it's magic. They don't understand how it's done. But it's nice that they can go around and they can if they can touch it and uh, something that's uh, simple, but uh, for I think it's effective. And that's yeah, that's my presentation. Thanks. Thank you.